I'm working on the inside of the motor home today. Um, I'm going to put this flat screen TV in here. This is a 19, uh, 2003 Winnebago Sightseer. And that bottom TV is what was in there. Look at the size of that thing. I'm talking about heavy. Things heavy. We're not going to put a great big TV in there because I still want to be able to use the cabinets. And I'm going to put it on this this swing arm. I got this from Amazon. Mount it. MI4151. Full, mo full motion TV wall mount and uh, <clears throat> the TV can slide into this bracket and you can put a padlock on it or a pin so it can't come out it's got a built in level make sure you get it level and uh, I'm going to put this uh, trim back on and the TV will just sit flat against it And then I'll have all this space back in there for storage. And then I got rid of all the big old VCRs and DVD combo. And I just put a Blu-ray player in there. So that'll give me a lot more room in there. <coughs> but that other TV wasn't too bad to get out it had this uh, had this strap going across the top of it to hold it down it bolted into these brackets on either side and then it's got some sticky tape and stuff on top and then it had this ridge here to keep it from sliding out but it was really mounted good of course it's all in a steel frame okay I've cut this two by four then I'm going to screw it to this steel tube up here and then I'll I'll go in from the bottom and secure it at the bottom but I've got to I've got to put it in there offset because by the time you get this the swing arm in there to get the TV to sit centered in this opening this has got to be off centered just a little bit but that's that's fine because you won't be able to see it with the TV up against the wall up against the cabinet so let me get this mounted to get underneath the steel shelf I need to take this off I took four screws out of it hopefully that's all there is
black paint on there trying to make it match the other tubing that's in there I'm going to get some of these screws started started okay, let me get my screwdriver That is solid. It's part of the motorhome now. So now I just need to mount the swing arm to that, and then put the face plate back on. I finished off. Now I need to get the TV. It's time to get that open. Okay, I've decided to mount that DB or Blu ray player underneath the TV because when the TV's sitting on there, it's sticking out about the same 
distance is that. That way, take, there won't be any gap at the top and there'll just be this little bit on each side. And plus this will be easy to get to. So I think that's the plan I'm going to go with. So I just need to mount my swing arm. Pretty nice, it's got a built-in level to see when you've got it leveled. So let me get that mounted. We got the same setup back here in the bedroom. Same TV. Same Blu-ray. Well, I think it's the same Blu-ray player. Maybe a little bit different. But then this one, this one swings out, and tilts to where we can lay in bed and watch it. We, all, we need some background noise when we sleep. We always leave the TVs on, leave them on low. Anyway, we're getting it, getting it all in shape. Can't wait for the spring. Unwinterize it and use it again. There's the finished install. It's got the DVD player, Blu-ray player underneath it. That leaves this cabinet. I gotta tie these cords up, but it leaves it basically empty. And then we've got some of our DVDs in here. And then we can pull this out. Sit back here on the couch. Watch it. You can watch it while I'm driving down the road. No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but I guess the wife and kids could. Turn it this way and watch it while we're going down the road. Yeah, that was pretty easy. I think it came out pretty good. Still got full use of both cabinets. I guess we could have gone a little bit bigger, but we don't watch that much TV when we're camping anyway. Except maybe this movie. This is our favorite movie, The Great Outdoors. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll talk to everybody later. Bye.